we have cells and cells, over hundred billion cells they say. All these cells are essentially coded and, you know, geared for health, for survival mainly. Their own individual survival and the survival of the organism. A few of them take shortcuts, they want to survive upon others. It's crime, you know. So there is a pickpocket. What is his business? What you took one month to earn, he wants to pick it up in one day. But he is also part of the society till he is caught, all right <laughs> Now if all the pickpockets of the country got together and they came to Delhi, now everybody's pockets will be gone because now it's organized. So right now what you ca call as cancer is just this, in everybody's body there are cancerous cells. When they get organized and get focused in one place, then it becomes a serious problem, to a point where it can take one's life. What is the solution? There are many things to say. First of all, crime flourishes where there is no order in the system, yes? Criminals in the society will flourish if the law enforcement is not in order. So there is a defense mechanism in our system. Are we keeping it well? Are we bombarding it with all kinds of stimulants, intoxicants, everything, and then we're expecting our defense mechanism to work? It won't work like that. We must understand every stimulant and every intoxicant we consume in some way dents our defense mechanism. People think defense mechanism is only for external infections. No. Even to contain the internal criminals in the body, the defense mechanism works. So a simple thing is, you know, in the yogic system, this is a simple logic. These cancerous cells in our body, they consume usually about twenty-seven to twenty-eight times of food than the normal cells. So, if you space out your meal, an ideal spacing between one meal and the next in the yogic culture is eight to twelve hours. If you space out eight hours meals, you will see the cancerous cells will all die by themselves because they cannot survive without food. Other cells will survive. So always we fixed it, morning one meal, evening one meal, no in between eating. And once in a way, every month, twice a month or once a month, people are practicing one full day, no food. These are simple ways to control this. Apart from that, there are various other things. Above all, if your mind and body is in a certain ease, these will not survive. If your mind and body is in a certain sense of strife, then these will survive. And not only survive, they will flourish. If the society is in strife, organized crimes rise. rise. If the society is in order, very little crime happens. The same is true with our physiological structure. When I say cancer cells, Every one of our bodies has cancerous cells, but they're disorganized, they're all over the place. For some reason, if you create certain situations in the body, they will get organized. So from petty crime to organized crime, <laughs> serious problem, isn't it? There are petty criminals everywhere, in every town. Uh, here and there, they'll do little pickpocket, this, that, no problem. But if fifty of them get organized in Coimbatore city, then suddenly the whole atmosphere in the city will change because these fifty guys together can do such things that it will become dangerous for you to step on the street. So that's all is happening in the body. There are cancerous cells, these are criminal cells. They are running around. If they are loafing around by themselves, no problem. If they all gather in one place, if they meet in one place and they hit it off, then it's a problem. So, if the law enforcement is good, they see this. Uh, initially, a criminal is happy picking somebody's pocket. Every day picking pocket, when two of them meet, they will dream of burgling a house. When five of them meet, they'll dream of robbing a bank. That's how it is. 
So, if the law enforcement is conscious and active, they will make sure here and there they'll pick up one guy and throw him in. They'll do something, you know, so that they never gather in enough numbers to become a major problem. So the same thing with the body, before they gang up, if you keep breaking them up here and there, killing a few guys, every day neem just does that, it just reduces. It keeps the number of cancerous cells in the body within uh, a certain percentage where it doesn't really gang up against the system. So it's a very important thing to consume neem. Only thing about neem is if you consume it in excess quantity, it is also… it also kills the sperm cells. That is, we will have the fortune of a reduced population <laughs> if everybody in the world consumes enough neem. <laughs> because it's a spermicide, it must be consumed in small quantities because it's not for us to decide what should happen to an individual. And women when they are pregnant, up to four months of pregnancy or to be safe, up to five months of pregnancy, one should not consume neem because it is a spermicide. When the fetus is developing, the role of the sperm is still there to a certain point. Four months is what is prescribed. I am saying five months, you can… one can start after five months. <laughs>